Okay, this is a real quick video. I've got a pair of Golo skates here that have got the old thickness, 155 thousandths of an inch, roughly about four millimeters. Old style gaffs. And then I have a pair Bowers LS GSX. These are thinner blades for goalie. These are 118 thousandths. So it's about three millimeters thick. And so when you have one that somebody likes to use, they like to use a 916 radius of hollow here for the thicker blade. I want to figure out what the new radius of hollow should be for this. So when people talk about radius of hollow on skates, you need to go through and ask what uh, what the blade thickness is. If you take a look at the edge on the blade like this, the radius of hollow, and you know, where the blade comes down, if you have two thicknesses, you take the two caps and you have them so that I this one's closer so they're the same size. They look like the same cap. But not sure if that's apparent. There they are side by side. I'm gonna move this one forward so they line up. So the answer is is that this is a smaller diameter cap. It has to have a smaller radius of hollow. So when you go ahead and change blade thickness to keep the same bite angle, you need to have a tighter radius of hollow. And you can go through the math. Okay, on the top part of the card there, I've got T over 2 divided by ROH. Now what that is, that's the trigonometric sine of the bite angle. So I'm letting the two cases be equal. I want the thin and thick skate to have the same bite angle. So the sine of the angle, the bite angle, is equal to T over 2 over the radius of hollow. Both the T and the ROH can be an inches metric. They just need to be the same units. This is just the ratio of the thicknesses. So if this is three millimeters you went from four to three the new radius of hollow is about three-fourths so if I just go through the math here over here I had a nine sixteenths the player liked on the 155 and I've got the new thickness on the top 118 to the old thickness this is the old radius of hollow so you should use a seven sixteenths a tighter radius of hollow and it'll have the same bite angle now bite angle here, over here is this radius you've got where the blade, if this is the edge of the blade and it touches the ice, it's the curved part. This curves up. That's really the only thing that matters is where this edge touches the ice. You've got this edge and the other edge. So when you go to a thinner blade, you've got to have uh, Go from a thicker blade to a thinner blade, you need to have a tighter radius of hollow. And on the, one of the books here by uh, Ice Skating, Sid has here, it's got a graph here. I'll zoom in. And I want to rotate it around. This shows the radius of hollow in inches versus the bite angle. And these hockey skates here, about the same as a figure skate. So if you take a 9 sixteenths we we're using here, yeah, I got a pen here, and you went through here, touch this, you get about almost about eight degrees. So you want to keep the same bite angle, you're going to go over, and uh, those are about 118 in thickness. So it's at 7 sixteenths radius of hollow, 11 millimeters. That's 9 sixteenths, about 14 millimeter. So you just take the ratio of the thicknesses. And so the bite angle is what actually contacts the ice. So if you got a thicker blade, somebody's talking about what radius of hollow is, you got to make sure most all figure skates or hockey skates are 1 8, about 3 millimeters, 1 18. This has got 110. Uh, old. Most figure skates are the thicker blades. 
So if a figure skater's got something, uh, what they have, and you go through and you talk about hockey, you're talking apples and oranges here when you've got uh, the two different size skates. Yeah, I'm getting sloppy here. When you go through and you have, go from the thicker to thinner. And so you, the tighter, the, the greater the radius of hollow here over here, on here, the more the bite angle you've got. But excuse me, the tight, the more, if you go through and have a high radius of hollow over here like this, you've got a, a bigger bite angle on this. So the more shorter radius you've got, you've got a bigger, the sharper this edge is, it's going to grab like mad, it'll also tend to get dull a little bit quicker. So again, if you go from a thick blade to a thin blade, you've got to go ahead and use a uh, shorter radius of hollow. And over here, this formula I've got here is just the... This was the old skate, and that's the old blade thickness. This was the new blade thickness. So, got the old, the ratio of these two, and so you go from a 9 16 to a 7 16 So whether you're using a, a conventional bench grinder or sparks, you can change the wheel on that or dress it differently. And that should give about the same, same bite on here. And the old time on Scott, a lot of these uh, gold skates, they used to use huge radiuses of hollow, like seven eighths or one inch, stuff like that. And I think the trend now is to go way more, way more narrower. So this particular one player had a 9 they they like so I went ahead and did the new skates at a 7 16th. Okay on the top part of the card there I've got T over 2 divided by ROH. Now what that is that's the trigonometric sine of the bite angle. So I'm letting the two cases be equal. I want the thin and thick skate to have the same bite angle. So the sine of the angle the bite angle is equal to t over 2 over the radius of hollow both the t and the roh can be in inches metric they just need to be the same units 